the drink is fantastic especially when it is served after two years of hard work so yeah this is the example which i wanted to showcase for a very long period of time where the robot is performing something autonomously so there are a couple of things that i want to talk about in this video so let's start with with these finger grips so previously if you had seen the first video that i uploaded on my youtube channel where i demonstrated how my robotic arm grabs different objects in that video um, when my robot tried to grab a bottle it slipped from its hand and at that time i realized that i needed to install something on its fingers to make it its grip more firm and tight so i installed these rubber material on its fingers and on its palm same on the other hand as well so what it does is that it creates friction just like uh, our skin when we grab something there is a friction between our fingers and that object because of which we are able to hold it and it doesn't slip from our hands just to uh, mimic that effect i have installed these rubbers on its fingers so now in this video if you compare it to that first video on my channel this robot is now able to grab objects very firmly and it is tight it doesn't slip from its hands secondly i want to talk about um, vibrations so in this in, in a video where i showcased the movements of uh, the robotic arm uh, i think the name of the video is asimo inspired 6x robotic arm so in that video you could see there are there is there is a lot of vibration when my robot moves from one point to another point so in order to reduce that effect i worked on introducing accelerations and decelerations in the movements of the robot for this i am using excel stepper library and this is an excellent uh, piece of hard work done by some developer i don't know his name but that library really solves the problem of vibrations and makes the movements very smooth um, what happens is that when we are programming a motor normally uh, we are just telling it the position from uh, where it starts to move and where it ends and the motor moves with a constant speed this is the normally the case with the servers and the steppers so that makes the movements very robot like because we are, it is moving in a constant speed and it's a sudden stop so that sudden stop creates a jerk and sort of vibrations in the arm which is damaging for the 3d printed parts as well so with acceleration and deceleration incorporated into the moves what happens is that the robotic arm now accelerates and it decelerates when it has to stop to a certain point so when it is decelerating it doesn't create jerk or anti movement so this is the second thing that i wanted to talk about and the third thing is that now the motors are moving in real time simultaneously what does that mean previously if even if you watched my previous video robot was performing one step second step third step so that makes the movements very robot like well obviously it's a robot but uh, the idea is to make the movements more human like so that it looks very natural very organic when it is moving for that i wrote a code where all the motors are moving simultaneously so that instead of performing one step and second step two motors are moving or three motors are moving simultaneously as per the requirement of the task so that makes the robot perform in a very natural way and it looks very organic so these are the things that I wanted to share in this video. I hope you like the content. Please press the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. This will be a huge support from your side. In the future, I will be sharing many videos regarding the robot, its make, and I will be sharing its updates as well. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Allah Hafiz.